back. Yeah, in terms of where we want to go, when you look at the potential of the country, the potential of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, and you actually break it down into the fundamentals, you will see that our aspirational target of one trillion is actually very achievable. Let me give you some uh, examples. Today, yeah, there, there, are, there, are, there are hardly any upstream uh, oil and gas company listed in the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Yeah, FDI from oil and gas is 90% for the country. Uh, power companies, yeah, no, listed in the Nigerian stock market. And we know the demand for power in the country, which will continue yeah, over a period of time. Agriculture forms 40% of our GDP. Yeah, again, there's really no commercialized agricultural industry uh, listed in the market. So when you look at the market and you look at the composition of the market and the potential of the market, then it's very clear to see yeah, that the NSE has some way to go. And we're, we're going to achieve that uh, in a number of ways. There's a bit of what we are doing within the NSC. So telecoms, again, is another good example, which is, you know, no telecoms companies listed. And we're, we, we, we're meeting with the right people, with the right company, with, with those companies, and actually advocating for them to list. We're, we're actually changing our listing rules. Yeah, we're changing them to make it easier for good companies or growth companies to list. Not, not bring down the quality, but actually make it easier because you, know, you don't have to be an income generator. You don't have to be there for four years. The nature of our, uh, of our economy today has to attract growth companies. So we're making that change and you're going to see uh, our, our new listing rules hopefully before the end of this year to attract those companies in. So on that journey, we have uh, 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 short-term goals, medium-term goals, and long-term goals. Let me focus on our short-term goals because I think that's more pertinent. You know, on the short-term side, we have around 11, pro 11 initiatives we're going to deliver in 2011 or very, very early in 2012. We're really pushing out in 2011. Market segmentation is one. Yeah, that's delivered. We delivered our first of November. And market segmentation is extremely key because if you look at today's sectors in the Nigerian stock market, we have 33 sectors. Yeah very difficult for anybody to actually analyze and uh, make sense of. And it's not in line with, uh, uh, if you like, the global standards in terms of uh, our segmentation. So by actually channeling these and following it to 12, I think we actually provide ourselves with a basis for, if you like, people within the market, outside the market, in the country, outside the country, to actually analyze the market better. We allow people to be able to build balanced balance portfolios, yeah, and actually manage their portfolios using well-defined, very clear sectors. It's actually a big deal for us, really. So you look at the other initiatives we're driving, exchange-traded funds. Uh, we plan to launch a first exchange-traded fund uh, uh, in Nigeria in November. You know, tail end of November. Work is well underway. It's going to be one back with commodities, uh, gold specifically, and it's with a leading uh, 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 banking organisation uh, in Africa and in the globe as well. So, you know, those are those are good initiatives which will allow us to deepen the product set within the Nigerian market. Today, it's just purely equities. You know. It's got to be deepened and broadened uh, effectively. We, we're introducing market making, securities lending, and short selling. Uh, uh, sh not naked short selling. Market makers only will be allowed to short sell. But again, that's a new set of, uh, if you like, services, perhaps not products, which we plan to launch in 2011. And work is well underway in that respect. I spoke about uh, our revising the listing rules. Yeah, we're, we're building a new website. We've got to do that because that is the basis of the technology. Yeah, uh, uh, and market data is a very key part of what we're doing today. So that hopefully gives you a good feel for what we're plan sorry, what we're driving. And it's not just planning to do it, you know, like I said earlier on, some of this already delivered, the rest are well underway, and we're very focused on the short term, and that will lead to medium and long term, of course. Right, very quickly, if you can just touch on uh, new products. Now, we know, obviously, that there's a plan to launch ETFs this month. Yes. So I spoke very clearly about uh, ETFs. Uh, you know, in November, we will launch uh, the first ETF. It's, uh, it's a new gold ETF by ABSA. Uh, ABSA Capital, more precisely, as you know, ABSA is owned by Barclays. Uh, it's been a very successful product uh, in, uh, in uh, South Africa and Botswana. We believe uh, it brings a lot of diversification to the Nigerian market as well, uh, especially for the institutional investors, even private investors as well. So that's a positive thing. Uh, we launched a first closed-end fund uh, about two months ago in the Nigerian market. And we see the new ETF product uh, as, if you like, uh, a launching pad for more ETF products to be actually brought into the market over the, the coming month.